Okay, we're going to show you today how to re-enroll your student at Roanoke Catholic School. Um, this is done best by uh, desktop or laptop. It does not work on mobile devices. So you're going to pull up RenWeb. Go to RenWeb.com. At the right, you'll see the orange login button. Click Parents Web Login. Our district code is RC-VA. Then you're going to put in your username. And your password. And click. So after you've logged in, you're going to see um, this screen. On the left in the yellow are all the pages that you need to complete. Your goal is to get a green check beside each section. If you get a yellow triangle, that means you're missing something and you need to go back. You can skip around sections if you need to. So first of all, you're going to read the directions. Click Next. Enrollee information. Um, you already have information in here, so most of yours will already pull up. Uh, this is a pretend student, so we're just going to uh, make up some information. But again, yours will already um, be in there, but you, you do want to check to see if there are any changes that you need to make while you're going through. And you'll notice if there is a red asterisk, you can't skip that space. If there's not, you can skip it. So for here for gender, um, we need to fill that in. Okay, so we're going to click Save and Next, and you see we have a green check over here. So we're going to do the next page. Religious affiliation has an asterisk, so we need to um, fill those blanks in. The rest does not. We Save and Next, green check. Household, we're going to put our address in. I'm not bothering to put capitals in just to show you how it's done. Okay, so you're going to put um, parent name in. Custodial rights, are they financially responsible, do they receive correspondence, are you married, um, okay. cell phone is required, and the rest of that is not required. So we can go back up, put the other parent in. Again, if you enrolled last year, most of this is going to already be in there. You're just need to gonna, gonna need to double check. But check things, you know, if your cell phone has changed, um, if your work has changed, uh, just double check all of that. Okay, save and next, green check, we're good. Now, on this page, emergency contacts, please, as a, we change the directions here, list yourselves first. So list the parents first. So um, this is our first parent, test parent. They are the emergency contact. They are an authorized pickup and make sure that information is correct. Then the other parent, quiz parent, they are emergency contact and they are an authorized pickup. At this point, 
please add one more uh, person on the emergency contact list. So in case we can't reach either parent, and it says one phone number is required, okay, and then at the bottom, is there anyone who is prohibited to pick up your child? This would be with a court order. We're going to say no. Go to the next, and we have a green check mark. Okay, Dr. Dr. Joe, their phone number. Dentist, notice there's not an asterisk. Uh, policy. Permission to treat. Do you give us permission to treat? Any conditions, any allergies, food allergies, bee stings. Um, at this part, you do have the red asterisk, so you have to tell us whether you allow the nurse to give these medications. Are the immunizations up to date? Does your child have asthma? If yes, you need to answer a few more. Any other illnesses? Again, you need to explain. Does medication need to be prescribed? Do they have any special health problems? Okay. Medical agreement, you're going to read this, check, and do your digital signature. Media release, again, check, digital signature. Scanning. So for the cafeteria purposes, okay, after school care, it talks about the rates. Um, there is a red asterisk. You have to choose something. You can choose drop-in that you will pick up after 4.30, before 4.30, or you will not enroll. It's a good idea, even if you think you'll never use it, to go ahead and pick drop-in just in case something happens and you need to send your child down to after-school care until you can get here a little later to pick them up. Check that you have read the information and the agreement and then sign it. Now, this is where we're going to skip the tuition page um, because it takes you out of RenWeb into Facts and then back into RenWeb. So we'll come back to that. So watch what happens. We're going to go to the next page. Notice now I have a yellow triangle on tuition page. That means it's not complete. Document upload, we have, if your child is enrolled, we have all of this information. However, if something's changed, like a new asthma action plan or a new custody agreement, then you could um, upload them here. So we're going to skip that, get our check. Again, we are agreeing to the contract on this page you're going to review everything if you catch something and you think oh I put that in wrong you can still go back to that section even if it has a green check make the change save it and go to next once we do the tuition page it'll give you the option of uh, submitting but right now it's telling you that you have uh, 13 forms 12 of them have, are complete and one is incomplete so we're going to go back to the tuition schedule it explains your fees $215 per student per enrollment out of that first student $15 goes to the enrollment fee to fax. $200 will be applied to the family's tuition bill. However, from that two, first $200, $50 goes to pay your family's HSA fee and $100 goes to pay your family's technology fee. So $50 from that first child will go towards tuition. From all your other children, after that $15 RenWeb fee is taken out, the, the rest of the $200, that's the deposit, goes into your tuition. And then this is information for students who are new to the school. Again, a reminder, 
Your best bet for financial aid is to apply for FACS by March 1st. Um, those people who apply by then usually are uh, notified by sometime the end of May. If you do not apply by March 1st, there is still money left over, although maybe not as much, and you would usually not find out until July. So if you're waiting for facts, you can go ahead and, and do everything that we just did and then come back, it'll save, and then come back and do the tuition plan after you get your um, tuition award. All right, so at this point, we're gonna finish our last page tuition plan and schedule. Again, it goes over the fees. It talks about, gives you the tuition rates for each grade level. And at the bottom, you're going to have to go into facts. It says you may not skip facts unless two cases. If you want to pay in full, which is due by July 1st, so you would bring a check to the school for the full amount by July 1st, or if you are an RCS employee and want to have your tuition deducted from your payroll, then you need to call the school and ask them to bypass facts. Once they do that, then you can go on with the rest of your packet and submit it. But right here, we're going to show you how to go into facts and set up a payment plan. Okay, so we're going back to the tuition plan screen. Notice you have the yellow triangle, which means you're not finished. So click on that, scroll to the bottom, go to facts. Okay, facts, you're going to ignore the right side over here. That's where you would have applied for financial aid. The left side is all about your payment plan. So we're going to set up a payment plan. You're going to have two choices, and you're going to want to pick 17, 18 school year. Click begin. Make sure that your family information is correct. Click next. Okay, if you don't have a student listed, you're going to add a student. And then you're going to add the grade level that she will be going, or he or she will be going into next year. Right. And click Save. And then Next. Now you choose here 10 months or 11 months for your payment plan. So we're going to click, we're going to choose 10. And it's telling you you have an enrollment fee of $40. That's to set up your payment plan. Click Next. Again, it's telling you that this enrollment fee is non-refundable. Okay, now you're going to choose to add bank account or a credit card. Um, and it may have something already loaded in there. So this is actually how you're going to pay your tuition. So we're going to do bank account. And then the bank name. And account type. You're going to choose. You want to come from checking or savings. Now, the routing number is the first set of numbers <clears throat> that you'll see um, on the, at the bottom of the left side of the check. So you're going to put those in. Oops. Okay, and then your account number is your actual checking account number. Mm -hmm. okay, you're going to save. Um, this is going to ask you if you want the peace of mind benefit. Uh, you, so you're just going to read that and decide if you want it or not. If you do, you click yes. If you don't, just click next. Okay, payment schedule. Would you prefer your payments to be drawn out on the 5th of the month or the 20th? Choose one of those. Okay, it will give you your tentative payment schedule. Um, so you can see this one starts, <coughs> excuse me, this one starts in July and <coughs> ends in April. Remind you again that you, we're going to pay a $40 enrollment fee. 
will automatically be processed within 14 days of the agreement being finalized by Roanoke Catholic School. And then next, okay, review and authorize. Make sure that's where you want your money coming from. Click that you have read and accept the terms of condition. Now this is important because you are not finished with re-enrollment. So you need to click this green button that says continue RenWeb enrollment. Now you're back to your original screen where you were, <clears throat> still not finished and it's telling you you still have your yellow triangle and then you've got a red message. There are three missing requirements on this form. So scroll down. You're going to choose how you just told facts you're going to pay. So in this case, 10 monthly payments. You're going to answer whether you or not you are a Roanoke Catholic School employee. And then if you are, do you choose the 10 or 11 monthly payments? Do you want to use payroll deduction? I guess not since we're doing that. Okay. And then again, you're going to sign at the bottom your electronic signature, hit save and next. Okay, you're going to go down to the very last section. Notice you have all green checks on the left. Very last section, enrollment packet review. When you're ready, you're going to click complete review and submit enrollment packet. Now this is going to ask you to pay for your re-enrollment. $215. The $15 is a fee that goes directly to fax for processing our paperwork. The $200 goes into your tuition. Now for each family out of one child from that $200, $100 pays the new uh, technology fee, $50 pays the HSA fee, and so then the remaining $50 would go towards tuition. If you have more than one child, for everybody else, after that $15 goes to fax, the entire $200 goes into their tuition. So just one child per family is going to pay those two fees. So you're still not finished at this point. You're going to submit the enrollment packet and you're going to pay. For this, you can only pay with checking. So again, you're going to, if you have your checking account already loaded in there, you can choose that or you can load your checking account in there. If for some reason you do not want to do that, you would need to bring a check for $215 or for however many students you're re-enrolling to school and then we can enter that and get this fee bypassed for you. So this is right. So we're going to click on this checking, submit. Okay, they're going to send a receipt to your email address. Still one more step. You have to click pay. Okay, this is when you know you're finished. Enrollment packet submitted. Gives you a choice to print your packet. Tells you that you were charged $215. At that point, you should also receive an email thanking you for submitting your re-enrollment and, and the email will also go to the enrollment office at Roanoke Catholic School.